Hey guys, Jay Parker, Silver Stacker here. <clears throat> Today I'm doing uh, episode three of the United States typeset. I picked up seven coins today and just wanted to share. And the first one I picked up was a 1906 Barber Dime. I believe it's a D. Yep, 1906 D. Pretty nice specimen for uh, my album. You know, I didn't want to get one that was all worn out, but I wanted to get one that still had some detail. Because like I said in the other video, I wanted to get nice examples of all the coins, if possible. And 1935 um, Mercury Dime. I believe it's a P. Yeah, it's a P. Also in very nice shape. Uh, War Nickel. 1943 has a lot of luster left to that one too and it's D very nice shape a 64 Kennedy very nice shape as well um, a Franklin half 49 that's got some pretty nice detail too it's a P and just a 65 Roosevelt clad. Nothing really special about that one other than it's in perfect shape. <clears throat> and the last one I picked up was a Barber Quarter, 1915. And you can still, you can still read the Liberty across the headband there. And it's a P. But look at the detail I left on that still. That's pretty good shape for a a barber quarter, I thought. Make a nice addition to my album. All right, uh, let's get these in here. Won't take too long. I don't wanna make a too long of a video just putting coins in, so I'll try to be as speedy as possible. Okay, let's probably start with, we'll start with that nickel. to my capped bust dime. Very nice. Another one for that one. And let's see, we'll start with, looks like the, the barber dime will be the next one. Which I got a super good deal on that one. And the mercury dime. I also got a pretty good deal on that one. I only paid, I think I only paid a, what was it? A little over a dollar for the Mercury Dime. And that Barber, I think I paid $3 for. Not too bad. And I gotta open up this clad now. That's stapled shut. But that clad's in really good shape though. Doesn't look like it's ever been circulated. Almost, almost looks proof-like. But I wanted a really nice example of that one too, even though it is clad. But either way, I wanted a nice one. There, that looks even better. Just about got that whole bottom roll filled, except for two. Pretty nice. What do you think, guys? Looks pretty good? Hit that like button if you think it does. Now, let's go to the Barber Quarter. That should be right there, yep. Gotta open this one up, too, because it's in a cardboard flip. <clears throat> Alright, take you guys another look at that again. 
now that it's out of there. Okay, nice. It's probably my, and that isn't, actually, yeah, this is my first barb recorder. It's very nice. Get that in there. Relatively even, straight. There we go. Awesome. I'm really glad I decided to do this. I'm really been really entertained with this. It's something different other than just putting than just putting American Eagles in a tube. Get to buy a few different ranges of coins and denominations. And then once I get this filled. I'll even be able to flip through it occasionally and just look at them instead of just having coins and tubes and not really being able to see them. But <clears throat> there. That's awesome. Gaining on it, guys. Slowly. Oh, yeah. Um, I got this a few days earlier and it's just an Ike S proof. I just decided to throw it in off camera but I thought it looked cool. And the regular Ike dollar is kinda, it's kinda boring, so in my opinion. So I wanted to get it in proof to match the other proofs. I think it looks a lot better and it's a proof. The coin's not scratched, it's just that little sliding plastic. But yeah, gaining on it guys, slowly but surely. What you guys think on my pickups? Did I get some good coins for this album? You can let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, smash that like button, leave a comment, and I encourage everybody to uh, subscribe who's not currently subscribed to my channel. I keep on trying to put out great content for you guys, and I hope you like it. Jay Parker Silverstacker out.